And that is what we're trying to accomplish here uh, on the channel. Okay, so first shoe. It is. All right, onward and upward. Uh, oh, coffee. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go, everyone. Onward and upward. We made it safely down the hill, barely. And yes, found a creek. Hopefully you can hear me. The creek's a little loud, but uh, so I wanted to get out of the studio today. Just get out of the house, especially since I'm talking about trail running shoes 2020. Uh, so get out into nature because it's upon us, at least in the Northern Hemisphere, as the snow melts, uh, runs down the creeks, runs down the rivers, and we can get out and just uh, breathe some fresh air again, if you know what I mean. All right, so the marathon training block, as you all know, is done. It's in the road marathon, I should say, is in the past. And now for me, and we're gonna talk, I think early next week about the game plan for the future because everything's up in the air right now with the Pikes Peak Marathon, the New York City Marathon, everything. So I wanna uh, talk it out with all of you about what my game plan will be, uh, but definitely, Part of my game plan is getting up into the mountains, uh, getting back out there, uh, and just testing run, uh, trail running shoes for all of you sooner rather than later. So these are shoes that I have picked up over the past three months or, or have been sent to me from different running shoe companies. And as I'm always saying, uh, beholden to no one, and I wanna get uh, test out new shoe companies for you in 2020 that I have never tried before. So there's companies here that I've never even held in my own two hands, all right? So that's exciting. And I'll try and put some stats up on the screen in titles. I'm not gonna break down the shoes for you today um, as far as drop and everything with my words, but I'll try to do some titles for you as we move forward. And as I begin to open up this first box, I just wanna say that every single person's foot is different, right? Very unique. And my grandmother's always saying like, we've gotta take care of our feet because our feet are the foundation of our bodies, right? And so these different companies that I'm testing out, I hope through the first impression videos, through the full reviews, you get a little bit of a different sense. For example, on Strava, look at all these shoes that are listed. I've probably tested out less than 3% of the available trail running shoes on the marketplace. Uh, so there's the, the horizon is very, very uh, vast and big in 2020, and that is what we're trying to accomplish here uh, on the channel. Okay, so first shoe out of the box, first trail running shoe of 2020 is gonna be a new company I've never tried before, local in Colorado, shout out to Boulder. All right, it's Newton, there we go, there we go. Newton, the Boca AT4, I'll pull it out for all of you to see. Look at that red, so this is a Newton shoe. There it is on your screen, how you spell it, the Newton Boca AT4. Uh, let me just give you a few first thoughts out of the box. Gosh, I'm gonna put it into the lower category with respect to the stack height. Good lug, uh, lug depth, absol absolutely. Looks like some pretty solid build quality. Upper, okay, looking just, okay. I haven't even put the shoe on my foot, but looking like a wider toe box. Absolutely, you know, just, yeah, absolutely looking like a wider toe box. So there you go, the Newton Boca AT4. First shoe to test out for all of you uh, in the not so distant future. Oh, by the way, I'm on, a, I'm on a running break right now, so I'm not gonna be testing out shoes for the next, you know, three or four days. Okay, here we go. Whoop, let's just grab this one before it slips away. Okay, next on, oh, I feel raindrops. Oh boy, I gotta be quick. Okay, next on the horizon, the Merrill MTL Long Sky. Merrill, once again, um, I've never tried before. First time ever in a Merrill shoe. So I'll be, oh man, Vibram outsole, apps, wow. Okay, serious lug depth going on. 
It actually is reminiscent, very reminiscent of the Solomon outsole lug pattern. Very aggressive outsole. Merrill, there you go. I kind of like that orange colorway. This is the MTL Long Sky. All right, all right, moving on. Wow, I'm, I'm pretty excited about that guy. Um, Okay, let's see here. We'll put that one up there. And yes, I love Innovate. The Innovate X Talon G235. X Talon G235 from Innovate. Oh, look at that. So a more, uh, a lower stack height, absolutely. Oh, look at that orange. I love the orange. Uh, very aggressive outsole pattern, okay? The lug depth is serious here. I am, uh, oh, wow. And actually, just kind of pressing on that, that midsole, it feels like it has a little bit of um, forgiveness. So it's not gonna be too hard of a landing. That's been, uh, what was it, the Terra Ultra G260, I believe it was, from 2019. It was a little, I think that was the shoe that was a little hard landing, but excited, very excited about this Innovate, the X Talon G235 from Innovate. Okay, we'll put that guy up there. Moving on, oh, this is so exciting. A brand new shoe that I've never tried before, Scarpa, Scarpa. All right, also a local company, okay? Here we go, Scarpa. This is the Spin Ultra, the Scarpa Spin Ultra. There we go, oh man. So a higher stack height, ooh, oh nice. I think it might be a gusseted tongue. Um, Looks like a little more plush through the upper. Definitely more plush. I'm liking this uh, this heel counter. Yeah, and uh, it looks like if your foot has a lot of volume to it, meaning it's a it's a bigger foot. Like you just have a lot of volume in your foot. I'm I just I can tell by the shape of the shoe that it, it could it could hold a bigger foot. All right, there you go. That's from Scarpa, also a local company, the Spin Ultra from Scarpa. Okay, moving on. Oh, Nike in the house, testing out the Wild Horse 6. The Wild Horse 6, you better believe it. Uh, first impression, upper right hand, actually, sorry, full review, uh, Wild Horse 5, if you wanna check it out, upper right hand corner. And yes, the rain is coming. I gotta hurry up here. So there you go, the Nike Wild Horse 6. We'll test that out for you sooner rather than later. Okay, oh my goodness. There's a lot of shoes. There's a lot of trail running shoes. So uh, stay, stay tuned. It's gonna get exciting. All right, here we go. The Solomon Sense Ride 3. Solomon Sense Ride 3. Oh my goodness. A lower lug depth compared to some other Solomon shoes like the Speed Cross 5. Um, let me just, hold on. I'm kind of curious. Yeah, interesting. A pretty high stack height but a little firm, okay? So I know there's a lot of Sense Ride 3 fans out there, and I just haven't been able to work the Sense Ride lineup into the rotation in the past. So here you go, Solomon, Sense Ride 3. Stay tuned, very exciting, very exciting. Okay, oh baby, oh baby, brand new. <laughs> okay, so we've got Merrill, Scarpa, and Newton as running shoe companies that I've never tried before. And here's the last trail running shoe that I've never tried before. I've also got one more Solomon I'll show you in a second. So here we go. This just arrived. Oh, baby. Here we go. Come on. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. VJ in the house. Finnish company, meaning from Finland. This company was started 40 years ago in Finland, okay? I've never even held a VJ shoe in my own hands, all right? So, oh, so cool, the VJ Max X, okay? Oh, baby, let's hold, oh, I just, I always love holding a brand new shoe. Wow, very cool. Okay, just pulling it out of, the, whoa, very cool. Okay, so not a uh, crazy lug depth, but definitely there. Um, I'm sensing it's gonna be a lower drop, just looking at the shoe and wow so from what i've under well, from what i understand vj shoes are built like a tank kind of like i'm just gonna say kind of like innovate uh which is a uk company so like really really like they have kevlar going on through the upper all right so a very very stout like the shoes should be able to last through multiple training blocks multiple running seasons all right so vj very exciting also just looking it looks to be a little narrower 
compared to some other uh, trail shoes out there. We shall see again. I'll be testing out sooner rather than later. There is BJ. Oh man. All right. Last but not least, here we go. The final trail shoe to test out for you. Uh, this is a staple in the Demore rotation. All right. So there you go. The Solomon S Lab Sense 8 SG. Potentially, potentially, this should be my Pikes Peak Ascent racing shoe, or, or sorry, Pikes Peak Marathon racing shoe. So a new, a new upper, all right, we'll get to that uh, in my first impression, a really new uh, upper as far as the collar of the shoe. So very exci exciting. Um, I raced the Pikes Peak Ascent last year in the Solomon Sense 7. So now I have the Sense 6, the Sense 7, and now the Sense 8 SG. On S the SG, just so you know, stands for soft ground, which is, it basically connects to the, uh, the, the lug depth. So the SG is meant for muddier trails. I use it for the Pikes Peak though, because Pikes Peak's trail is kind of um, gravel bait. It's kind of gravelly. So I really want a shoe that can kind of cut through the gravel and get a good grip through the gravel. There you have it, everybody. Oh man, I just made a mess out here. Um, let's see, one, two, three, uh, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight trail running shoes to test out for all of you in the next um, month or so. Basically, you know, uh, the, the snow is gonna be, actually next week in, in Colorado, the temperatures are gonna climb to 80 degrees Fahrenheit which means the snow in the mountains is really gonna start to melt pretty quick, uh, which means the trails are gonna be opening up, up high, very exciting. All right, question of the day, as the sun comes out, oh man, the, the exposure is gonna be off, but that's okay. Question of the day, what uh, trail running shoe are you gonna be using in the next two months. Okay, sorry about the exposure. I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, the sun's coming out. So what trail running shoes are you going to be using in the next, let's say, two months? Okay, so May and June 2020. What's your go-to? Let us know down in the comments. Butter my bread, onward and upward. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for spreading the word uh, about this channel. We continue to go onward and upward together. All right, everyone. Thanks for being here. Uh, we'll toss it back. Hold on. Over here, we'll toss it back to, um, you know what? I'm going to make a brand new playlist for all of you tonight, all about just trail running shoes. Brand new playlist, just trail running shoes right there. Butter the bread. All right, everyone. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.